so the other day my brother cut down some uh, oak trees and I thought hey I can make a melt from that and I always wanted to try uh, woodworking so I bought a book about it it's in Dutch which is okay since it's my second language the book however came with a lathe so let's see what we got here I don't know what the brand is could be Auerbach, could be Kerger just like uh, my other lathe that I fixed up it might be a uh, large I think it's probably German, but I'm not sure about that either. So here's the uh, headstock. It's a sliding spindle headstock, and it's used for uh, cutting threads. All those coppery bits on the back, they are used to uh, copy a thread template to the front of the lathe. I'll try to explain how this works, or how I think it works, because I, uh, well, never seen this before anyway you loosen up these two bronze rings and then you can move this lever and this lever unlocks the spindle so if you pull this up a bit the spindle is loose it just slides in its bearings um, so when you pull this up this uh, star nut uh, interlocks with this template and you just fasten these two rings again so now if you um, turn the spindle it will start moving forward Well, that's as far as it goes. You're obviously limited by the length of the uh, template you're copying to the front. So, and then I assume you have a single point cutting uh, tool and uh, you just copy the thread uh, onto the workpiece. This uh, ring here is actually broken. I don't know if you can see that. Here's the missing part and uh, here yeah, use some uh, electrical tape to fix it well whatever works unfortunately the headstock is missing its original pulley somebody made a aluminium pulley and then decided the lathe was running too fast and then added a second plastic uh, pulley the same was done on a motor the motor by the way is 3000 rpm so at this setting the lathe would be running at 3000 rpm it would slow down quite a bit with uh, the big pulley and the small one on the motor but way too fast to uh, try uh, single point threading the motor by the way isn't uh, the safest setup with these uh, connectors uh, uninsulated so uh, I'm gonna replace the motor with uh, the one that came from um, the one that came from the worst lathe in the world video. I fixed that up with new bearings and I gave it a paint job. Well, I guess it won't hurt if I let it run for a while. It has a nice uh, old switch. Nothing happening. Well, I had a quick look at uh, all the connectors and I, I found nothing uh, obvious wrong. So no demonstration I guess here's the uh, wood cutting tool rest um, looks like somebody put it back together in the wrong way it's supposed to be the other way around here's the uh, slides just like with the worst lathe in the world video they run backwards so somebody replaced the thread and they used the wrong type. It is supposed to be a left hand thread, not right hand. The same stupid tool holder. There's no dials on these levers, so I'm thinking, I think this lathe might be very old. Tail sock. Its design is similar to the one uh, on the lathe I fixed up. It, uh, 
it's pretty scuffed a lot of damage there I also haven't figured out uh, what kind of more stable this thing is it's not more stable one it's not more stable two and here are some boxes with stuff that came with the lathe it's a faceplate I see the uh, chucky some uh, chisels made from files and a whole lot of stuff I have no idea what it is I might show it in another video so that's it my new toy I think I'll put it on some uh, swivel wheels so I can move it outside if I want to do some woodworking then I don't have to deal with all the sawdust inside I had enough for today it's cold here I'm gonna get some warm tea